good morning everyone I'm hanging out kind of inside of Cottonwood here I met the shot I was taking the other day but the Sun had just started to crest that hill so returned an hour earlier to take the shot this morning this is gonna be my last day of photography and uh, it's only gonna be a half day because after a shoot this morning I'm gonna start to pack up all the stuff in the car in preparation to leave Tomorrow morning, back to Tennessee. It's hard to believe this trip is already over. It's really hard to believe that last year, maybe 100 yards back down the wash, I took a photograph of a waterfall. And we've not had a drop of rain this trip, and there's just barely been any clouds. Uh, it's been an interesting trip. It took me a while to get in the groove of photography. And then, um, it's just kind of been disjointed in the beginning with all the campsite changing. But I think if everything turns out, I'm going to end up with a decent set of images. Uh, maybe not quite as many as I've shot in the past, but uh, there's some in there that I'm really going to be happy with if everything turns out. Including this one here. We've got this huge cottonwood that has at some point been semi-uprooted or blown over. And then this branch here goes out to leaves that are transitioning. Mostly yellow, a little green in there, but um, I've composed it where this fallen branch starts in the right side of my image and just kind of arches through. Hopefully it translates to kind of being inside the tree a little bit, if that makes sense. I've got a couple more hours this morning. I'm gonna just scout a little bit, maybe take a shot, maybe set up some shots for years to come. But uh, another great day, brisk morning here in Zion, but weather-wise this year has just been perfect. As always, thanks for following along and let's see what else we can find. quick where I was the other day uh, the lights better back there so fired off a sheet of Velvet another sheet of Ektar real quick spent five minutes on its tops load back up head down the wash and see what else we can find Toboggan hair is fashionable. I'm revisiting a shot I took a couple years ago and uh, just seeing what it look like. looks like. The leaves are past prime. But Ben was telling me about this the other day. This tree you used to have to walk under, it was about seven or eight feet above you, is now in pieces. I actually walked out maybe three or four feet on that tree a couple years ago to set my tripod to get a shot walking under it and now it is shattered. So that's terrifying. Just doing a little more exploring today. Don't know if I'll take another shot, but kind of fun to revisit old shots and see how the area has changed. Zion is always changing. It's especially seen in the narrows after flash floods, but yeah, it can be seen anywhere just with a rock fall or trees snapping. Looks like you still have to go underneath it. You just don't have the seven or eight feet clearance that you once did. You have about four. And uh, walking underneath a tree that has already broken is not the most fun thing to do. It's 
tell you what, I don't know if that'll translate, but that is very rotten. I do not think I am going to uh, go back under that. That is, I bet that will not be here when I'm back next year. So, if you've ever wondered how to determine whether or not you need to take a shot, here's a pro tip. There's a scene where I'm walking right now. I looked at it a second ago. Maybe I should take it, but let me see what's around the corner. And around the corner, there were some mountain goats. Rams. That started to take steps toward me. And uh, it pretty much sealed it. We are gonna take this shot back this way. Not back that way. Do not want to fight a mountain goat. I don't have horns. Just puts me at a distinct disadvantage. I am hard headed, so that would help. But yeah, I'm gonna take this shot for sure. And that's, uh, that may be Zion's way of telling me We've had enough photography for this trip. <laughs> So there comes a point in every trip where you take the last photo of the trip. And that's going to be mine. Um, a little bit of a hiccup. I thought I had two sheets of velvia left. was almost certain I had two sheets of velvia left, but film holders told me I only had one. So I don't know what happened there. may have a blank sheet, but that's going to do it for me on this trip. I'm going to meander back up to the road. Head back to the campsite, a uh, ton of stuff to pack up, camera gear, start getting all the uh, camping gear packed up, kind of arrange the aviation part of it. So, I'm gonna pack up the Shinhao one last time. Uh, may have a blank sheet of Velvia in there somewhere, but I'm gonna head back and back up. I'm gonna avoid the mountain goats that way, avoid the fallen tree that way, see if I can find an alternate route to the road. As always, thanks for following along a little bit shorter series of videos this year, but thanks as always for your support over the years and wherever photography takes me from here on out. I uh, hope you'll continue to watch. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys along. Until next time, we'll see ya.